Welcome to my Facebook page. I'm Julie Robinson. So nice to see you here today on Sunday, September 21st. It's Sunday. It's a brand new week, a week that is surrounded by God and the angels. And I'm so excited to be here with you for my premiere weekly angel card reading for the week of September 21st through to the 28th. So I just want to start off the week by saying it's been a weird year, but let's just keep moving forward. Okay. There are angels surrounding us and they have miracles waiting for you. So whatever you're going through right now, let's just give it to God, give it to Archangel Michael and say, thank you angels that you are surrounding this issue, that you are bigger than anything that I'm facing. All right. In Jesus name. Amen. Let's start off the week with some all chakra affirmations. These affirmations are a blend of all of the affirmations that you should be using for your chakras. So let's affirm it together. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am safe. I am enough. I am qualified. I am forgiven. I am loving and I am listening to my angels. All right. So nice to see you here today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to do the weekly Oracle card reading starting with Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, hello, we pulled the you are not, uh, <laughs> you are, the you are enough card. Um, and this card is coming to us because the angels know there's a lot of strength in realizing our value. You know, when we focus on the shame and we focus on the things that we've done wrong, it kind of brings us down. Um, although it's good to take accountability and admit things, it's really important that we focus on our strengths. And this card suggests that the situation that you find yourself in right now would be significantly improved if you focused on the fact that you are enough and focused on what you can do. So whether it's work or a love relationship or your health, um, it's really important to do because other people will reflect that loving nature back to you, right? Just remember the law of attraction, like attracts like. So rather than focusing on your faults, what's missing about you, um, and also rather than focusing on what's wrong with somebody else, um, you've entered, you've emptied, you've, uh, <laughs> you've entered into a phase of your life where you need to be persistent right now and be open to receiving love, right? We have the little heart chakra symbol at the bottom of all my cards, which will tell you which chakra the card corresponds with. And this one is the heart chakra. Okay. So it's about putting your hands on your heart and remembering I'm enough. I love myself, I'm enough, and then seeing that other people in our life are enough as well. And yes, that is the card and influence for Monday, Tuesday, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Okay, so when we get away from that, uh, heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we pulled safety and security, a really important card for this week. And you see the dot at the bottom of the card is our root chakra. Now, safety and security is a big one for those of us who have been traumatized, which is like pretty much everyone who survived 2020. Uh, when we're overcoming trauma, we need to remember that we're safe and that we're all safe in spiritual truth. And um, especially towards the middle of this week, the angels know that you're overcoming those old feelings. They want you to remember to check in with them in the middle of the week, because sometimes um, they're saying that we feel insecure and then we say the wrong thing or we don't ask for our needs to get met. And the reason is we don't feel safe to ask for what we want. <laughs> Come back to this reading if you need to in the middle of the week. You're growing emotionally. Okay. All of you are growing emotionally and all those fears of who you used to be, you're evolving past them. You're getting better every day and in every way you're getting better. So it's just about remembering that you are safe and that you, you know, you are secure when you think about making moves in the world. Don't make moves in the world from fear and don't hold back from fear. This message is more a holding back card. I can feel this. Raphael is making me feel like some of you are holding back because you're scared. Affirm that you're safe. Call in your angels if you need to. And don't be afraid to use your voice this week. You are safe as you lovingly speak your truth. Okay. 
And then as we head into uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we pulled clear yourself. So you may have absorbed some negative energy from other people this week. Um, and this card comes as a prompting that it is totally time to clear. So things like taking a bath, working with your angels, uh, salt cave, uh, being outside in sunshine, um, going in nature, being in water, going swimming. Uh, especially water with uh, salt in it, is very clearing. It clears out that uh, toxic energy that we've absorbed from other people. And it looks like it's really important to clear yourself. Um, a prayer to support you is, Dear God and Archangel Michael and Raphael, please clear me now of any fear that I have absorbed. And that's about it. So I hope that you have enjoyed this weekly forecast. If you're interested in pre-ordering the cards, I'm only doing a special edition um, between now and Christmas. I will be making some announcements soon. But there's only 13 spots left in the pre-order. So go to juliespiritualhealer.com to pre-order yours. Mwah. Love you. Sending you so much. Angel love light. And uh, have a great week. Bye.